All right, this is um, the second FRQ from the 2015 um, AB exam. And so since it's FRQ2, that means this is calculator active. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in um, each of those functions. Just whenever I'm plugging them in the calculator, I'm always um, really careful about this part to make sure I don't have any typos. Um, I want my window to kind of match what's going on here. And so the highest y coordinate we see is 2, the furthest to the right we see is 4. So I'm going to go ahead and do like negative 1 to 5, and then like negative 1 to 3, just so I can see everything clearly. I do this backwards. <laughs> oh, yep, I sure did. Negative one to three, five. Good start for a video, right, guys? Okay, that's better. So f of x was the first graph. So here we have f of x f of x. Um, the reason that I know that is because I typed it in first and I watched it be drawn first. So that was helpful. And then g of x. g of x. Okay, so the first thing they want is they want the sum of the areas. And so what I'm going to do first, they were nice and they kind of, they gave us this point, they gave us that point, but they didn't give us this point in the middle. Um, and the mistake that lots of students make is they would look at that and be like, oh, it's one and call it good and just use one. And then you're gonna lose that point because it's probably not one, it's probably a decimal. So second trace, intersect, and it already was very close to that, so enter, enter, enter. And so that intersection is 1.032831 comma, 2.4011081 and I'm going to go ahead and call this A and call that B and then I can store A in my calculator so I'm going to hit second quit um, hit the X key press enter and it pulls that decimal up for me and so now I'm going to hit store and I'm going to store it as A and the reason that I am not storing this as X is because I'm going to use X probably um, on this screen as a variable, and I can't use it as a variable and a number that I saved at the same time, I don't think. So, um, so we've got that. Now it wants us to find the sum of the areas. And so for part A, we're going to say that we want the area from 0 to this value of A here. So I'm going to say the integral from 0 to A. And then it's easier to write if I just type g of x and type f of x, or write that at least. So if I'm going to do top minus bottom, that's g of x minus f of x. You can write the functions out, but if you write it incorrectly, if you miss something, then you'll get it wrong. So you might as well write it like this so you can get the full points. And then the other area is going to be from A to 2 and that's f of x minus g of x. Okay, now for myself, I'm going to go ahead and write that this is what I stored as y1, this is what I stored as y2, just because that's going to make it a little bit easier for me to type this. So I'm going to hit uh, math 9 to get that integral from 0 to a, and then I want to type g of x minus f of x, which is y2 minus y1. So alpha y2 minus y1, okay? And then I'm adding, my kitten's going nuts, um, a to 2 f of x minus g of x. Um, so the nice part about having all of this stored is that we're avoiding typos right now because it's very easy to mistype this. All right, so this is 2.004.
Are you biting that? What are you doing? All right, part B. Find, um, if you have region S as the base of a solid whose cross sections perpendicular to the x-axis, if you guys remember that's important, that means that the whole thing is in terms of x, which we kind of like, um, and so those are squares. So the first thing I need to do is I need to figure out what a slice equals, and if you guys remember, a slice is just the top function minus the bottom, so we're going to have f of x minus g of x. And then for the area of a square, we just have the side, which is, you know, the length of the slice. We have side times side. So for squares, we're going to have S squared. So to find the volume of the solid, we're going to have from A to 2 of F of X minus G of X squared DX. And we just have to type that in. So f of x was y1, f of x minus g of x squared. One point two eight three. All right, let h be the vertical distance between the graphs of f and g. Um, so I'm going to say, and it's in region s. So I'm going to say h of x is, and then the vertical distance is just going to be the difference between the two. So I'm going to do f of x minus g of x. All right, and so they want the rate of change for h, which is the derivative, at a specific moment, right? So at 1.8. So h prime of x is going to be f prime minus g prime. And then the rate of change at 1.8 is going to be f prime of 1.8 minus g prime of 1.8. Okay, so f was y1, so I'm going to hit math 8, variables x, and I'm going to do y1 at 1.8 minus uh, math 8 x y2 at 1.8. Okay, so we're doing f prime at 1.8 minus g prime at 1.8, and we get negative 3.812. So pretty, pretty simple, straightforward problem if you know how to use your calculator and can type everything in correctly.